Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. Want to bring you guys an update on Bitcoin. I know people have been asking about Bitcoin and if I think it's going to be going over 4,000 or if we're going to be stuck under 4,000 for a while. So what I decided to do today is we're going to be on the one day chart and we're just going to step back. We're going to look at support, resistance areas, Fibonacci's, moving averages, RSI, that type of stuff. We're just kind of going to build a plan here of what could potentially happen. And remember in this market, anything can happen. You have to be prepared for the upside, the downside, and the sideways always I'll never tell you that something can't go up or something can't go down because in this space a market maker a whale can move the market at any moment so you have to be aware of that and you have to stay on your toes in this market all the time that's why it's good to set those alerts and alarms that type of stuff but if you could hit the like button subscribe notification bell we're trying for 100 likes on this video you guys are killing it for me just been seeing great growth and uh, Hope we can help some people out there so we'll get into this dive into it and i also want you guys to put down low what you think in terms of is bitcoin going to get over four thousand and stay over four thousand are we going to get over four thousand then come back down or are we not even going to make it up to that four thousand dollar range so you let me know down low and we'll get into this what i'm looking at first here is do you see how <clears throat> excuse me see how we put this fibonacci on and what we're looking for is the bounce, the reaction. What's happening now is we're still, we're running right into here at this 39.54, right in that range is our 0 0.236. It's a very difficult Fibonacci level to get back over on a reaction. All right. So if we can get up over this on the daily chart and close up above that, I would be more convinced that we could potentially go up here and maybe test and get over this four thousand dollar mark. That's what I would need to see. And that's at thirty nine fifty four. All right. Because we got up above it a few times and then we came back down. We get wicked up above it, came back down. We have not been able to get up and over it and here we even wicked up to it which we'll zoom in on this stuff but I'm gonna pull this off now this Fibonacci so realize that we are right now running into the 0 0.236 and we're having a little bit of rejection from it alright so let's clear that off now on the downside what we would look for say we had a complete collapse or whatnot we would look for these moving averages as support obviously we would look at support down around that 3523 we would then look at support around 3318 then it would be a potential double bottom down here if we are able to hold it so that's more so the downside without throwing a Fibonacci on this impulse movement that we've had right here so that's also going to play factors in your support and resistance and all those types of things but so this lower trend line right here would be a potential double bottom that guys would look at to see if we defend that so we're just going to pull stuff off as we go through this all right so that's off now now in terms of overhead resistance right here in yellow all these overhead resistances I tried my best to put them on the real bodies like where the closes were and everything if they're not perfect I apologize guys I was doing it from a distance because we're really looking at the big picture here so a dollar or two in terms of where that horizontal line is it's not going to make a difference so what we're seeing here is a potential resistance up here around that four thousand seventy dollars just in terms of going off the real bodies here that would be the next one if we were to push up now we're starting to get a little overextended on the rsi as you can see we're up at 70 right now which is overbought in a traditional market this is crypto anything can happen so you have to remember that but we are getting into that area so that's where i feel like a nice healthy pullback maybe to this 20 ema around that 3709 would be a great spot for a nice pullback because a lot of the times when you have a big run like this a big stick it's made up on the opposite side you'll see it come back down even right here we had a big stick we came back down close to at least a third of it or a half of it so we'd probably say that's around that 0 0.236 area or around the 0 0.382 but you know healthy pullbacks they're good things guys just how we're building these stair steps we had our high here higher low higher high now we'd pull back set a nice higher low then try to get up over this 4,000 if we were to get up over this 4,000 we would want to consolidate right up above this and make sure this is really strong support before we start moving up to the next channel and test that so let's get this off here but that's how it works we'd have to get up above this consolidate and then make our next move so let's get this off then the next area of overhead resistance would be around this 4283 which would have to happen you saw we had these long wicks 
where the Bears were just knocking down the Bulls there. And then we had a big fall down after that and actually made our lowest low. So keep that in mind as an overhead resistance. And then we're going to be looking at that 4541 right here. And that was just a quick little reaction before we fell down farther. So that, that stop, it could be overhead resistance. I'm putting it in there, but we may just be able to blow right through that if we were in that upward movement and we we're consolidating upon those overhead resistances. Now, if we were to break through that, then we can really run, friends. That's where, you know, we could get up into this area around that 54.94. Of course, we'd have to deal with this 200-day moving average, which is going to be crucial for us. We need to get up above that, close up above that. Litecoin has done that so far. We're going to see if it can stay up above it, but it's a must for us to get in this bull market because, you know, since May, we've just been running into this, just consistently running into this and making lower lows, and we're going to have to see what happens in that range. Now, what we're seeing, though, is a beautiful golden cross from our 20 EMA over top of our 50 moving average. So that's something that you can put in the bullish camp. That's that's a good good thing to have. And also we're making these higher lows with this trend line. So guys, just a rough estimate here. This is ultimately the trend line we're going to want to hold. Now we're going to want to hold the moving averages and all that, but say we lose those, we would want to get a nice bounce off this and then continue higher, which that would be healthy in itself. You know, the trend changes, what we have to look for are those higher highs and higher lows. We've consistently had lower highs for 13 or 14 months now. So until we're proven with a higher high, which a lot of people are looking for, I'm not convinced that we're out of this bear market yet. And, you know, you can have these reactions or rallies, things like that, and then you could have another slam down, and we've seen it before. So we want to be prepared for that. Ultimately, is this a super low price for Bitcoin? In my opinion, not my financial advice. $4,000 is very cheap for where Bitcoin is going to go in the future. Not financial advice. That's just my opinion. Okay? But, you know, you, you really can't go wrong if you're really buying now and you're holding for the long term. This is a this is a spot. It could be darn near the bottom. The bottom over here is 31.41 so far, right in that range. So, you know, buying at 39.48 would be pretty close to the bottom if we never went back down there. But we have to see what we're going to do with the 100 moving average and then also this 200 moving average. I don't have the 100 up right now. I don't have enough indicators for my uh, trading view account. So it would probably be swooping down somewhere in here, maybe maybe close to in here. But, you know, these are the things that we want to do with Bitcoin. We want to step back and we want to try to identify, you know, these trend changes. Whoever can identify the trend change first is going to have the most advantage. Another thing you always want to do on your RSI here, treat it like that line graph. See that? And then what you would do here for our overhead resistance put that there and guys we could be working in here remember that ascending triangle that I talked about with y'all to where you're having higher lows down here then you have that flat top and you start working in here until eventually you'll either break out the top or you'll break out the bottom about 70 percent of the time you'll break to the upside 30 percent of the time or so you'll break to the downside you always have to be aware of that sometimes you'll break up and then you'll fall back through there's fake outs pump outs all types of things but it's always good to draw the support resistance lines trend lines all that on your rsi rsi almost every trader who knows somewhat what they're doing is going to be looking at the rsi they're going to have their rsi up they're going to have their macd up and they're going to be looking for trend line breaks and obviously candles and what the candles are looking like it's it's really important to dig into candles and get into them and and look for these patterns so like right now up here you'd see this look at those long wicks that were pushed up so this was almost like that shooting star candle there's a little wick on the bottom but you can see where it's going to start getting pushed back down now today we're trying to fight back up so we'll have to see where today's close is but i still think there's a lot of room to come down in here and have a nice healthy pullback to that 20 20 ema because every time guys we've pulled back onto it every time we get away from it we pull back onto it and for so long it's been overhead resistance if you go back through the chart and back test things like I like to do. Look at this 20 EMA. I mean, every time. So we would get up above, and then when we fell back down, we were hitting it. We come back down, hit it. Look at all these. And then we just finally make it through. We'd catch some air here, that gap I was talking about in the last video. Then we'd fall back down again. And this has just been riding us. And then here, look at that. 
and now we're finally back up above it. So it's important that we're back up above these things, but pay attention to the volume as well. Volume still, if you look at it here, still decreasing. In the overall, we would want to see some better volume start to really come in and get out of there. But we're going to have to see what happens. Those are the supports, those are the resistances, the trend lines I wanted to do with you all, the Fibonacci that we did. And let's do that now that we don't have all the support lines and everything, resistance lines. Let's really just do this Fibonacci and see how close we are to getting over that 0 0.236. Look at that, guys. I mean, we wicked up through it. And you tell me the Fibonacci is not important. I mean, it, it's huge in trading the Fibonacci. So we'll have to see if we close slightly up above this 0 0.236 today or if we're just going to get put, pushed back down, guys. You know, here we made it up through. We had some tweezer tops there, shooting star candle there, had a doji candle there. So we did get up above this a little bit. We even had a couple closes up above it, but ultimately we couldn't keep it, and we fell back down until we had this bullish engulfing candle right here, and we started to move back up. You know, and th is this a five-wave structure? Is this a one, a two, a three, a pull back into our four, then we come up for our five? That's a possibility. So a lot of things to keep your eyes on, guys, but even trend line breaks. I'm sorry I'm all over the place here. I'm just seeing stuff, and I want to go through as I see stuff for you. Take a look at this trend line break, like right in there. And then once you break out of these things, they're so powerful. Trend lines are so powerful. So God bless each and every one of you. Let me know down low what you're thinking, what you're doing. Are we out of this bear market yet, do you believe, or are you not falling for it yet? You know, this was a really big drop, and you would have thought that we would have had a bigger reaction up in here somewhere, but we still haven't, but we're trying to change that trend, having those higher lows, so that's important. God bless each and every one of you.